home mini DVR actually represents for Verizon uh, a philosophy about uh, entertainment in the home. Television has been around for you know 50 or 60 years but traditionally it's just been about changing channels and, and uh, watching your program. We, we want to make uh, the, the entertainment uh, experience in the home just more than that. As, as multi-room for you guys in terms of when, when you installed it and everything, has it exceeded expectations in terms of what you thought? Yes, it has. Um, you know, we t we're talking about HD quite a bit, but just the initial release of Home Media DVR, it was met with uh, a lot of enthusiasm because of that, that decision gate that I was talking about earlier where, you know, you had to record something and you had to view it in that one room. That liberated a lot of people. And, you know, HD, as, as cool and beautiful it is, as it is, a lot of people still have analog sets in their home. And so this actually gave them the ability to have another DVR in their, in their house and uh, you know, view that material. Now that we have that HD support for home media DVR, I have talked with so many people that I knew, and this is personal people, that kept on saying, well, I'm gonna get the home media DVR, but when you get the HD. I'm gonna wait and get that. Right. And I have let yeah. every one of them know, hey, guess what, we have HD support now. People keep saying that you know IPTV is coming. No, IPTV is here. here today. It is. And the Windows it is. Kids it's are showing. Exactly. Fact, Verizon is doing it the today. Windows it's IPTV. The exactly. Exactly. On demand is IPTV. The guy itself is IPTV. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And if you know anything about widgets, that is real-time data coming off of an RSS server, and that is IP data that is you know hitting those you know those widgets, and that's how we can update it. It's not coming through Qualm at all. So we got the platform out there today. It's, it's you know, we got this new 1.6 that's launching. It's really gonna take advantage in terms of you know, the multi-room capabilities, mm -hmm. but we're just getting started as it relates to what can be done possibly over right Absolutely, feet. absolutely. You know, with the development of 1.6, what we decided to do is let's do the obvious things that people want yeah. today, like home media DVR or you know, multi-room. That's obvious, you know, that's what people want. That is what your mainstream consumer is gonna ask for. Interactivity is something that we are bringing to our customers in a, in a slow, phased approach, training them on getting used to looking at their television in a different right. way, not just as you know, a way to watch you know, your favorite episode of your program, but wow, you mean with this widget, I can actually be getting information that is non-contextual. It has nothing to do with the program I'm watching. I'm getting the weather and I'm watching my favorite soap opera. The next step, obviously, is to be bringing in interactive advertising opportunities. Yep. If you're watching a, a television program and a spot comes on for a vacuum cleaner or some other uh, uh, you know, product, you can actually, you know, if you get an interactive trigger, and we would do that through eBIF, which is an interactive standard that is built into 1.6 now, uh, we just, uh, um, you know, that is something that's been in our plans from the very beginning. That's an interesting feature because consumers traditionally with TV, it's been a lean back experience yes. where it's been very passive, very, you know, not much interactivity. Right. But over the years, and especially now where Verizon is, it's, it's very interactive Absolutely. and it continues to increase it even more. And you know, that step is actually accelerating. Absolutely. And things like being able to you know, go right to a movie based on you know, where you're on the trailer, I mean, that, that's all getting into you know, kind of the psychology of our culture, which is you know, instant gratification. And being able to say, I want this thing when I want it, where I want it, to be able to select that content, whether it's you know here in your in your main viewing area or even you know in your bedroom, but to be able to select the content you want. We can't deny our you know customers uh, the ability to uh, use their content in the way they want to use it. But I think I think actually just remind me of something too is is one of the important things about files is when you you know, what the consumer has is basically their own network within their home. And one impo I think one important thing we forgot to mention, which is basically you know, the software package that's, you know, the media manager that's actually on the PC environment. So as you talked about, okay, you know, people's personal content, things that they own, you know, their pictures, their videos and those type things, I mean, a next logical place that they want to see that is in their main viewing environment of their TV. Media manager is kind of a, uh, it's, it's a product that, um, comes with home media DVR, yeah. and uh, not a lot of attention has been placed on that 
you know, with consumers as well. A lot of them get it. They know they have it, but they don't install it. I think that the video support now is what's going to drive some adoption of that as well. With the media manager experience, you download this application onto your PC. It aggregates all your media. It says, you know, uh, what do you want to do? Well, you want to create a slideshows of all of your different photos. The logical uh, next step, of course, is video because photos are nice, music's nice, but I just shot my vacation and we live in a digital age now, so I have a digital camera and I just shot my vacation and maybe I edited it and made it really nice. I wanna actually play that in the living room as well. That is what 1.6 gives us and that is portability.